Here's what one of them looks like up close. They're Mexican red-headed Amazon parrots. And if you live in Ocean Beach or Point Loma, you've likely seen them or heard them. I would say that the flock probably varies from around 100 to maybe as many as 300, 350 birds. Sometimes if they get injured, they end up here at the Avian and Exotic Animal Hospital in Mission Valley in the care of Dr. Jeffrey Jenkins, who has spent years studying and photographing the parrots of Ocean Beach. They nest in the date palms, in the tops of the date palms where the leaves are still have been trimmed, but they haven't fallen off the, the trunk of the tree. They feed on the fruit of carob trees, date palms, and eucalyptus berries, and they make a very distinctive sound. Some people call it a screech or a squawk. So that's very, very similar noise when they're just grumping with each other, you know, and they spar with each other and things like that. You make some more noise, huh? Ernie, that's this parrot's name, was brought in from Ocean Beach as a baby. So long and healing, he couldn't survive in the wild now. He has a friend here named Jarek, who's a little bit of a different kind of tropical parrot, and came from another flock that seems to hang around East County in El Cajon. Jarek's home is in Central and South America, not San Diego. And as for Ocean Beach Ernie and his pals? They're from the Gulf Coast of Mexico, originally. Their ancestors are from there. These guys were probably brought here by, by people. They, weren't, they didn't fly here. In fact, it's impossible that they flew here, he says. It's just too far. So how did they get here to Ocean Beach? One theory is that they came back as pets aboard tuna boats. Originally, I was told that they came from a pet shop that burned down in Ocean Beach in the 60s. And I literally went to the newspaper and went through all the archives on microfilm looking for the history of a pet shop burning down in Ocean Beach. And as far as I can tell, there was never a pet shop that burned down in Ocean Beach in the 60s. There's also the story of the bird woman of Ocean Beach who perhaps raised parrots she had rescued. There was a fire and the birds were released. That may also be true, Dr. Jenkins says. And he's been told parrots were around the Theosophical Center, which later became Point Loma Nazarene University as far back as the late 1930s. For his part, Ernie isn't saying, content to play rubber band bungee with the hospital's Dr. Jane Stout. Mostly indifferent to people they don't attack or carry human disease, one Ocean Beach home even celebrates them in a stained glass window. If you don't mind the squawking, they're pretty great. You know, tropical, the tropical world, hearing the parrots, you know, do their joie de vie celebration that the sun's come up.